This is my 1941 Royal Quiet Deluxe. Really great condition, mechanically and cosmetically. It has a little rust over here on this side of the hood. And other than that, it's in really great condition. The case is one I haven't seen as much, but I've seen it in a few a few times when I've seen Royals. You know, the hinges are rusty and it needs a little work, but it's, it serves its purpose. Um, it has locks when you put the typewriter in the case you see that metal pin there, that's where the feet go. Then you lock it in place. I like that feature because the only other typewriter I have that has locks to lock the typewriter in place is my Smith Corona. But my Underwood doesn't, it just, it kind of locks in place. It's hard to explain how that one works. Um, has touch control. The decal is in really good condition. This one, I think, was probably made just before World War II because I've seen them before and after 1941 or 40. It has a piece of stainless steel or chrome around here, but this one isn't. It's just painted black, you know, crackle finish like they had. All glass top keys, very nice and pleasant to type on. Space bar. See it has wide deluxe up there. Then you flip this forward, and that's how you set your margins. Or you use the. This only has one magic margin. Um, you have dual carriage release, one on this side, and right there, one on that side. This has only two spaces when you move the carriage back over. It has one or two. Then it has the platen roller release. And there's also a button on this side that you press in and that's another way to do it. I like using this button when I'm when I've already typed something and I put it in this typewriter. That's how I adjust it. Then you have the roller release. Paper bail. Um, I put a brand new ribbon on this. I re-spooled the ribbons that it came with when I got it. I always have been accustomed to do that now because it has good results. It has dual carriage, uh, not dual carriage, dual basket shift, not carriage, like I've seen other 30s Royals have. Well, this is a 1941, but still. Type's really great. Platin, like my other Royal, is hard. These, the paper bale rollers, have flat spots in them, but when you put a piece of paper in it, it works like a charm. So, although it's not the prettiest one I have, it's in really good condition for its age. And now, I'll do a test. When you don't use that paper, those paper bail rolls, you, you, you flip that up and... Anyways. And this also has um, stencil, black, and red. Whoop, wait a minute. Messed up. Oh. Messed up on brown. I typed E instead of O, but it came out. It's hard to see though. This this on this camera doesn't have autofocus. But yeah, it types really well. It has a red and black ribbon. But it's in really good condition for being. Um, 
I don't even know. I can't do math in my head. Well, from being from 1941, it's in really good condition. Despite the little bit of rust that's on that side, I don't really mind it. It also has a tab key. Nineteen forty one Royal Quiet Deluxe.